Guys, I'm Rick Damuth, and welcome to Cowtown, USA. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Come and go with me, and I'm going to show you and introduce you to Lakota, the all-aluminum living quarter trailer, affordably made, affordably made. So come and go with me. Let's let's just start here on the outside of this trailer. Stainless steel nose. Stainless steel nose. Dual hydraulic jacks. Spare tire wheel. Dual propane. Dual battery. Now that's not standard on most trailers. Standard on standard on Lakota. Everything except the stainless steel nose are, is standard on Lakota. And uh, you're just it's kind of first class. Now I'm going to show you here. We have the corrugation run from the front. What I mean by corrugation is this. Corrugation here. Run all the way to the back of the trailer. Not only does that look good, but that also uh, makes the trailer stronger, makes it last longer. And it's, you know, it'll, it'll take some abuse if you tie your horses to it. They're not going to so easily be able to dent the, the thin metal on the side of the trailer that most of them run solid white all the way down the side. This is corrugated front to back. Everything on this is trimmed in black. Matches all your graphics as well. So it gives the trailer an overall nice eye appeal. Come back here and I'll show you the drop down feed door. We talked about these drop down feed doors. Now this is an option on this trailer that this trailer has, but you talk about an advantage. Easy drop down. Now look at how the airflow flows through this, how much cooler this trailer will be for your animals. Fully insulated ceiling inside the horse compartment as well. Fold them up. Really nice hinges. You can actually drive down the road with these um, with the feed doors drop down and locked in position. Um, also, one key fits the locks all the way around on the trailer. One key is all you're going to have to carry. You got your uh, uh, radial tires here, stainless steel simulators, which is a which is a really good upgrade. And I'll swing around here for just a second. One ten outlets out here on the side as well. Brought you to the back, to the back end of the trailer. We talked about the one key locking system. Same way on the rear tack compartment and the horse compartment. No more fold over and have to put a padlock in it. One key. You can see here too how thick these hinges are. Those hinges have, those hinges have got to be half inch to three quarters of an inch thick. Three big massive hinges, LED lighting, LED lighting up the top. And notice the drip rail across the back end of the trailer. Keep your trailer drier and then your load lights. Here's your system as far as one hand, one hand, lock that trailer. We'll swing this around here. Double wall, completely rubber lined, has your door hold backs on it. Rear tack compartment. Again, double wall. Saddle racks with adjustments. Able to adjust up and down. Your rear tack is collapsible. Your center post is removable. So if you'd like to use this ATV to haul mares and babies, hay, your, your garden tractor, your uh, ATV, UTV, furniture, <coughs> You can use this trailer. One deal fits all. Brought you here to the highway side of the trailer. Again, your corrugation runs all the way through. Got good horse ties on the side of the trailer. Separate face bars. More ventilation. You drop that butt side down, then you drop this side down, and you can actually lock it in position. You talk about horses that are going to haul and be hauled in comfort. You've got it. storage. It's a three horse, but you have mangers under the front too. Lots of storage. Here's a feature that I really like. On this trailer right here, you get to where you're going. Well, this was locked. But you unlock this and fold this over out of the way. Then you have access here You've got a camper door lock here, so you can actually go in this door and lock it behind you. And you've got a camper step 
So ba basically what this does, this trailer got a back door to it. You can come in, kick your muddy boots off, your wet clothes off, kick it back in the horse compartment and go in through the bathroom door. I mean, just a lot of nice features. Now this trailer also has got a six foot slide in it. It's a uh, 14 foot short wall. Now, I'll take you inside and show you how the trailer. The trailer's really, really set up. Thank you. I told you to bring, bring you inside and show you uh, a, a very, very nice trailer. I mean, it, it, it's a nice trailer. It's all trimmed in oak. Got, got a lot of storage in this cabinet. You know, you got, a, you got a bed over here or a couch that makes into a bed and it happens that quick. Now underneath this is your, your water tank. And all you do is just pull this up, flip that over like that. And the, I wish that my bed was that easy made at the house. Well, it really is because my wife does it. But I help her sometimes. Anyway, you got storage cabinets up here. You got your uh, uh, stereo system here. Your DVD player up here. Um, here's another deal. This is a hanging closet. And guys, on this side is a hanging closet. This trailer is, to me, is a trail ride, uh, I mean a trail ride trailer deluxe. Okay, then you come over here, you have uh, uh, storage in all three of these cabinets. Storage here. And you have storage up here in front of, the, in front of the camper as well. Now I told you that this was a 14 foot short wall. This is a 15 foot short wall. Because on this wall here, you have, you, you've got a dinette that makes into a bed as well. So I mean, it's really comfortable. It's it's a it's a trail ride trailer, but it's uh, it works out really good for entertaining. All right, now I brought you into the kitchen area. This is a rear kitchen um, layout, okay? And all all it means is the kitchen is in the backside, uh, away from your bed and away from anything materials in the bed. Your covers, you know, you don't have to worry about your covers catching on fire. You stepping off in the skillet or stepping off in the sink. It is a rear kitchen. This has been the most popular one that has been out so far. Okay, now this particular model has got your microwave oven, and it's done in black. Your your uh, your um, this thing, your vented hood. Okay, we've got that, and we've recessed the uh, the stove top drawers down here in the floor. Access storage again right here. A double sink sink instead of a single sink, and cabinets here as well. Now on the other side of this is a 32 inch flat screen t c c color television. <laughs> then you come over here on this side guys, I'm going to fold this open, <clears throat> but you got a, a, um, a closet here that's this big and it's that deep, hang closet with shelves. So you can, it's adjustable, you can either have a hang, hang closet or you can have the shelves as well. You have a six cubic foot refrigerator with a, a separate freezer on the top. I mean, all the amenities at home, this, this trailer, this horse trailer is set up for that. It's, it's one of the biggest entertaining trailers we've got because of the, the, the couch and the dinette. Um, again, the rear kitchen setup, was, which is most popular out of all of them so far. Now, Mr. Bill's leaning against the wall here, and in this wall is a sliding pocket door, and we'll show that to you. Uh, you don't have to worry about getting hold of a door and trying to swing it this way. It slides here. This uh, this pocket door is what we were talking about a while ago. You come right here, pick this up. See, most or a lot of these will have a door that swings into you. You have to step away. Somebody has to move. This door is a pocket door, and just slam latch it. As you use it, it'll work a little better than that. Right now, right now, it's it's stiff, as you can tell. Now you you come this direction. <clears throat> you got a nice vanity here in this corner, not just with a sink, but you have a lot of place here that you ladies can put your makeup. Double mirrored. You see how, how see how to make yourself beautiful. A double hanging closet here, guys, and you can never have too many closets in these campers. And then shelves and storage all the way through drawers place to be able to put your wash cloths as, as my wife tells me they're not wash rags they're wash cloths so you have a place to put that in a nice big uh, nice big shower and with this shower you can see it has your skylight over the top now 
here while we're here in the ceiling it's it's ducted AC all the way back into here and then you have what's called a a max fan now you can actually set the the heating or the cooling on this and open your front window so it acts like an attic fan if you set it at 70 degrees or so it's going to kick itself off uh, and then if it starts getting warmer it'll open it up kick it, kick the fan back on pull the hot air out pull the cool air through the windows so I mean this this is a really neat feature also in here also in here if you step back you can see these switches here okay now uh, this switch here flips the light on out and this this switch here turns the light off you can see it light off and on the horse compartment <clears throat> now you do that from the outside or the inside but if you're in here at nighttime and you want to go out here and find your your boots and things like this that you've left in there it acts like a porch light or I mean we have a lot of people that, that use this room in fact uh, this particular trailer we've air conditioned the horse compartment as well now not for the horses but you have unexpected guests you also a lot of guys go to trail rides you're not allowed to, to take your your dogs with you <coughs> so you can use this as a portable kennel you're just plugged up it's hot as all blue blazes you just leave your air conditioner running keep this button up tight and your animals will stay back here grandkids anybody that needs a place and you have a bathroom in here between us so that's the reason we air condition the horse compartment and I'll step back here I'll show you on the inside of this trailer what it looks like walked you back here in the horse compartment so you can have the advantage to see the direction we came from here's this vent this AC vent we we're talking about you can shut it on and off right here so you do not have to air condition it now unless you've got a generator unless you have a generator you can't air condition this going down the road so people get thinking about their horses I mean if you wanted to do that you could do that I don't recommend doing that uh, this is made for pets and, and, and guests I mean this beats a tent all the pieces staying in okay double wall rubber line double wall rubber line behind your horses all your latching system is also slam latched so you don't have to take the time your know, horses want to fuss and fight with you try to put a pin in the hole you can get that divider latched you're latched you have a full escape door step up here mr bill i'm showing this this is the, the lock system that i was telling you about a while ago you can actually come in here and deadbolt this behind you just like you would your house i mean it makes it makes this uh, camper really secure if that's what you're looking for all your dividers are spring latched in fact, if you turn around right here and shut these dividers, nothing is locked back. The springs are holding this door, holding these dividers open. Now, you also have a stud divider here on the bottom. So, this is Lakota. This, I mean, I, I went highlighted over this and showed you this trailer. This is, this is a nice outfit, economically priced, well built. You know, so anyway, give us a call at Cowtown USA, 573-885-6300, 573-885-6300. This is a closeout trailer, too. So there's several thousand dollars worth of savings on, on this particular trailer. We're closing out our 15s. Our 16s are starting to arrive. So CowtownUSAInc.com, CowtownUSAInc.com will get you on our website. Or give us a call at 573-885-6300. Thank you.